A great selection for you. Uh, crowd vote wins spot on Black Sheep Fest. Judge vote, uh, which let's introduce our lovely four judges. We got uh, Cat Pistol. Uh, we got uh, Io from Iso. Iso. We got Vikings Legends Jeremy Bailey. And then we got Black Sheep Co. Player. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's give a big round of applause for this first band, Statues of the Dead. Yeah! Last minute change up and ask to introduce the songs. This first song is called Blasting Aliens.
skank. This is the song to skank to. This song is called Architects of Fear. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't know.
At the end, if you want another song, you can tell the man and we'll play it again. But it has to be, it has to be one that we already played.
thanks everybody for coming. I know this is a battle of the band, and you're probably not here to see us, but thanks anyway for coming. <laughs> Sorry my voice is a little scratchy. We played this game last night and I had to talk like an angry gnome for like an hour. So I had to talk like this and then my throat's really scratchy. Uh, this next one's... Sorry, this next one's a new one. It's called... This year last year, I guess?
So our, our actual drummer told us like a week ago, he was like, hey, I have to go to a wedding in St. Louis. And we said, oh, well we have got all the bands to play. So I want to give a big shout out to Nick for stepping in at the 11th hour. Thank you. 
that's been some really good, really long cables because I'm using ones like three feet long. Life lessons for the day. Well, this last one is one that we didn't write, but I think you'll like it. Are you ready? Like without having credibility, right? 
So I used to be a the corporate judge of local music at QLC. So that's why they're like, hey, he's got some kind of ID. Now I have my own brand where I do highlight our entertainment and culture. So that being said, it's very close to my heart. I don't want to destroy your set, but you absolutely lost me on Fall Boy. Um, I think that you. That's me. That's me. I. I feel. That, that's fine. That's fine. I, I feel that you placated your friends for Fall Boy. You didn't have to. I mean, your set was good by itself. Um, can you tell me, like, leading up to today, what the practice session was like? The drummer nailed it. It was awesome. But what was the practice session with you guys leading up to today? In play, like, how did you feel about that? Like how to practice now? How, yeah, how did you feel about that? Did you mesh well, or did you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think it went okay. I mean, we practiced with Nick like three times, like okay. Thursday, 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 Thursday. The only Thursday. the only other thing I would say is like you guys are both amazing musicians and vocalists by yourself, but I don't see you working together enough. Like you're in your own world when you're playing, and it's it's awesome, but you gotta let him in. And you're in your own world too when you're playing. And you gotta let him in. I mean, you guys instrumentally, you guys are amazing. But I saw you like backing up the microphone, and I don't know if you were in your own world or if you were just too into it. But we've gotta hear you. We've gotta hear every single thing. You put your heart and soul into everything you play. I know that you do. I can see it in your eyes. And you're just full of it. You're, you're full of energy and it's just amazing passion. But I wanna be able to hear it. I hear it through the instruments. The instruments are amazing. And I see tons of potential in you guys. I really want to see you guys play in like six months. Actually, I really want to practice this. And I mean, your original stuff is awesome. And you're going to be an amazing band. And I'm not going to say everything negative. I'm just going to say that those are the things that I saw. So, all right. Thank you. Yeah, I won't go in like Jeremy. <laughs> but what I will say, though, seriously, guys. The original music, I don't know who writes the songs for you guys, but it's phenomenal. I think anybody in here will say it too. Like, that is, that's really good. So. I hope to see you guys in the future and see what you guys bring. And by the way, drummer, I can tell you we've been playing for some years. <laughs> Great job, guys. Thank you. It's wild that somehow your drummer dropped and you picked up and you guys still played. That's a good thing. Um, I would just to second Jeremy. I would say just don't like. I noticed a lot of like you kind of abandoning the mic or you know what I mean. Just kind of be a little bit more like into it. Just to, both things. Yeah, both yeah exactly. That's what I wrote. I was like, you guys should harmonize more. You should like the instruments yeah, harmonize. They sound awesome. <laughs> Oh, I just started on this, that's why I laughed. <laughs> well, I'm, I mean, I think it's possible. Yeah, I'm excited to see where you guys go. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Cool. So next to that tail, I think. Uh, don't forget in the back there next to where you're putting your votes, uh, we got a bunch of Black Sheep Fest CDs coming up in the next couple of weeks. Pick one up, come on out. It's going to be a great time.
Give it up again for Kale. That was great. Um, now a word from our lovely judges there in the back. Hey Kale, thanks for playing. Are you from around here? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. Um, I think it really does the simplicity of your setup. You just have three elements: drums, cymbal, guitar, voices. Yeah, but I really dug the simplicity. I thought it was a nice, nice change. Um, and your voice was really clear. Um, and I really liked the covers you did. I'd love to see you do some original work. Even even if you didn't do a guitar, you could do a kind of string instrument in before. And the one um, suggestion I had was since you have such a specific setup to like play with your voice a little bit, we did different volumes. If sometimes you were loud on some songs, or just different tones of your voice. If you wanted to do that, that would be cool. But otherwise, I really enjoyed your set. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not allowed to be mean to you because you're one of the bravest people in the building. Because you're standing by yourself with a guitar, playing drums at the same time, and pouring your heart on part part onto that stage. Um, it, it was amazing. Um, Claire hit every point. You're a thief. You stole my thoughts. You're like, thief, you stole all my thoughts. No, I, I would, ju I would just um, ask if, uh, for next time, you could play around with the voice, because you nailed that. You nailed what you have right now. But I think that there's more there, and you can challenge yourself. But you're one of the bravest people in the building, again, because you're standing up there by yourself doing this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, how long have you been practicing that set in particular? Stuff, and then I gave up, and just the last few days I've kind of been putting some stuff together. But I've kind of done, played the drums with some songs in the past, so. But this specific, specific one, I wish I would have practiced it more. But <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's definitely, like you said, man, that's that's balls. Good enough. <laughs> but uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a, definitely some more practice doing that, man. You can you can definitely nail it, man. You made great eye contact with the crowd. You definitely look comfortable up there. And you can tell once you get more comfortable playing and doing. You know, <laughs> All that, yeah, no doubt, man. It's gonna be amazing. You did a great job for sure. Thank you. You're definitely a natural. That blew me away. Um, I would like to see you play again. I think that your whole setup, like Claire said, it's simple, but at the same time, it's so not simple. Like I can't imagine how you like to think to be able to do that at the same time. <laughs> Um, yeah, we had a great set. Thank you. All right, we have, I think it's Stem. Is that next? Yep, Stem's, sorry. All right. We're Stem, we're from Taylorville. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming over.
This song's called Real Estate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
more. Stoves? Yeah, it's got a signal stove. Yeah. Okay. You guys can move around and shit. You know what? Our glasses stay still. <laughs>
Stubb. Very cool soccer guys. Um, and now a word from our judges. Let's hear it. 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 I noticed that throughout your set you became more and more comfortable playing, you became more and more comfortable with the audience. So I'll say this to you guys, I'll say this to anybody who performs, just keep playing shows. Because the more you play shows, the more you become comfortable performing on the stage and all that stuff. And then you can find that freedom to sort of just express yourself without feeling nervous. So that's cool. Um, I will say the, the guy on the right, you were sometimes farther away from the mic when you were singing. Um, you were pretty close to the mic, which was good. I noticed that when I performed, when I first started, I would stand closer away from the mic, but when you get closer up to it, you're clearer, and it's easier to hear you, which is good for the audience, and it's good for you to get used to that. Um, and uh, I will say just, your style is really cool, you have on lock, but don't ever get comfortable in one style, if you're an artist, if you're a musician, anything. Just always challenge yourself to keep like tweaking it, keep challenging it, make it different in one way or another, but Otherwise, like I said, just keep playing shows and thanks for being here. I would first like to point out that this is a battle of the bands and I feel like the only band that brought the crowd. I mean, these guys are clearly here just to see you. So. did something uh, that I've only seen you do this evening, which is open really strong and close really strong. So that was, that's awesome. Uh, I love the infusion, I heard funk, jazz, rock. Um, all of the instruments were tight, really, really tight. I loved it. Um, you guys complement each other very, very well. I, I love the, the scales you're playing. It's awesome. It's complimentary. It's amazing. Uh, the fills are awesome. The drums are great. My only um, request would be, I, I felt vocally you came out strong in the middle and then you didn't run out of gas, but there was definitely some bubble that you needed to break through. Um, my only suggestion would just be maybe try just practicing in a lower key. That way, when you need those notes, they're there. Other than that, it'd be a great job, guys. About the instruments, man. Like it was tight. Your transitions were great. You know, your solos were there, man. It was good stuff for sure. But like vocally, definitely, I could hear the vocals, but I couldn't understand what you're saying. Like, but some people can get away with that. But coming back to her point, people that you can't understand, that can get away with it, put on an amazing performance visually, and you know that wasn't quite there either. But man, like you guys are tight. Said you guys are really tight instrumentally, man. You guys will get there for sure. That shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, fourth that. Definitely very solid as a band. Um, you guys' positions go together very well, and you can tell that that is like a natural just occurrence. Um, yeah. Uh,
blessing.
I mean, there are people from 50 to 5 years old enjoying your set. And I don't want to bring anybody down, but outside of these walls, there are crazy things happening. But the fact that we can all be together and enjoy this art, I just, I'm going to hold on to it. So thank you. You know what talking about me, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are definitely polished, man, as musicians individually and as a group, for sure, man. You guys sound tight. I left it like the dynamic between quiet, loud, quiet again. That was real nice. Uh, only thing I couldn't, it's the vocals. I couldn't hear what you were saying, bro, but I like your style. Kind of blind melon ish. You know, that's nice, man. I like it definitely. That was good, man. You guys are great, for sure. Definitely. I'm the last judge. Um, <laughs> it was good. Um, it definitely was. There's almost like less for me to say because it was so smooth. Very seasoned musicians. You know. Just, yeah. Good. Alright, we got two more band cards tonight. Give them a applause and then stick around.
crowd.
next one is uh, a cover of a song called Ecstasy by Late Night Reading.
All right, that was a great set. Uh, judges? songs, but uh, he wasn't feeling too good, and he's got to go home. Uh, yeah, let's see, don't worry about it. He had to go home, because uh, his parents wanted him home, so he had to scoot. So I'm just going to play a few songs here. Some spooky poo songs, some maybe spooky poo songs. I don't know. 
So we'll see how this goes. So uh, this first one is called Ay Ay Ay. We've got some shirts, we've got some pins, we've got some stickers, all kinds of goodies if you want them. <laughs> uh, this is a new spooky girl that is not out yet. It doesn't have a name yet either. And forgive me if I forget all the lyrics, because it's been a while. Take myself out of my selfish, jealous ways And I wish that I could find some peace of mind Instead of pouring over thoughts and lines Trying to piece together an apology to you It's nice to see you, how have you been? This conversation's wearing thin And I haven't even finished my first drink I guess I thought all good things must end And I guess I thought we'd still be friends So why haven't I talked to you all week? And if you wanted more from me Well, that's all you had to say Cause I know that things got rough sometimes I never wanted it this way and I know there's something more for you I swear I've tried my best And it's just hard to hold a conversation With this weight on my chest Yeah. 
more free rusher. I tried my best, but it's just hard to hold a conversation with this weight on my chest. So these next few ones are going to be kind of different. Um, last, like two weeks ago, I went on a family vacation to, to Missouri and we stayed in a rustic cabin and it was a lot of fun and I liked my family but it was a rustic cabin and there wasn't like a ton of things to do so I wrote some songs instead of just sitting out. Uh, I, I tried a new tuning out, it's open D for all you people out there. <laughs> uh, so I like tried to challenge myself to like write a song every day, just like a different one, kind of different feeling. And they're like different from anything I've ever written before, because I'm like in gadget, I, it's kind of like more electricy and spooky poo is like like fast, like folky, punky kind of stuff. So it's like, but I've never like written any like slower kind of stuff. So I just like tried something new with that. So these are some of those songs. None of them have names either.
Instead of writing off this feeling I'll never sort it out I find myself Finding more things to complain about Instead of finding peace I need to realize it all works out in life's never as ugly as it seems But I find myself I find myself Staring at a picture Just trying to wish myself back in Those old days, I find myself caring more what people think of me than caring for myself. I need to realize it all works out, and life's never as ugly as it seems. Someday I'll realize it all works out and life's never as ugly as it seems But I find myself Doing all those things I know I shouldn't I need to realize that all I need is you. Okay. <laughs> this one's kind of like sad and mean, sorry, uh, it's, uh, I wonder the hard parts about getting older, yeah, yeah it's because you look, I just graduated high school a few months ago, and a lot of friends that I've had, you like see them change and like turn into somebody that you like didn't know back then and you weren't really friends with and it's just getting into all this stuff that you're just like, Man, you feel bad for him, you're just scared for him. It's kind of like a song about that, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> I just hate to see you 
throw your life away. I hope you come around someday, cause lately your stories have fallen on deaf ears, cause no one wants to hear. About what you drank last night, or who you tried to fight, oh, 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 oh. About how you lost your phone and spent the night alone, oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. Thanks everybody for sticking around and listening to me. This is the first time I've ever played these songs anywhere because I wrote them last week. So I know you're just waiting for the for the results and we're all excited. But thanks for listening. To me.
Yeah, it's good, man. Like you said, I want to see what the keyboard sounds like, but you know, it is good, dude. Definitely like songwriting for sure. It's solid. And uh, vocals are good, man. For sure. But, uh, I'm not going to be so nice. I'm not. Uh, Ouch. Uh, so, um, how come? How come Gadget don't sound that tight? Oh. Oh, there's only one of me. Because those are amazing. Not everybody gets second chances, but life is all about second chances. And you rocked that set. You were awesome. Your whole, everything inside you came out. Just the, 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 the vocals, the guitar, and everything. And I just, I want to challenge you to make every project that you attempt sound like that. Thank you. All right, we got, gonna give you one more minute to get those last minute votes in, if you have any. Uh, and then we're gonna count them up and uh, tell y'all what's going on. All right, stick around. Fest August 6th is Stems. And the, the one who won the judges vote and is going to be getting a free recording session with Mario Cantamella is uh, Skunkworks. And then Jeremy Bailey is going to announce it. Third place winner gets a YouTube short interview on the Dumb Records couch for the Lincoln's Legends channel, and that goes to Kale. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, just wanted to say thank you all for coming out. This was really fun, great turnout, and uh, yeah, come out for Black Sheep Fest August 6th to see your favorite band, Stems. Yeah.